As many of you know, the U.S. job uh, figures came out this week uh, in which uh, the U.S. Uh, job market only added 69,000 jobs, uh, which uh, signaled many to believe that we are heading for uh, another recession. And uh, there's a reason behind that. Uh, in fact, there's a recent article for from uh, New York Times says, Feeble U.S. job growth stokes fears of global slowdown. Now, this is something I have been uh, touting for a number of months. And uh, it says, For third year, the economic recovery in the United States is floundering, stoking fears of a global shut, uh, slowdown as the European crisis escalates. Last month, the nation's employers added the fewest jobs in a year. And the unemployment rate actually rose, the uh, Labor Department reported Friday. May has not uh, May was not a fluke either. It was the third consecutive month of disappointing results. The weakening recovery is a serious vulnerability for President Obama as he faces re-election and it provides traction to his Republican rival Mitt Romney, who says the administration has not done enough to strengthen the economy because Washington remains deeply divided over how best to stimulate growth the report increases the pressure on the Federal Reserve to take further action on its own. The report on American jobs added to the global pale that uh, has deepened with Europe's debt crisis and slowing growth in China and India. Global financial markets weak in early trading on Friday sank further on the report. The Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 2.22% or 274.88 points, wiping out its gains for the year. And the uh, main index of the German stock market closed down 3.4%. Fears of a global showdown or slowdown showed up in other economic data on Friday. Cooling experts dampened the nation's major manufacturing index, though it remained in positive territory. That news came on the heels of several worrisome reports like falling consumer confidence, an uptick in new claims for unemployment benefits, and a downward revision of the country's overall economic growth in the uh, first quarter to a 1.9% uh, annual rate from 2.2%. Income grew slightly between March and April, uh, another government report said, though consumer spending uh, grew a little more, uh, a situation that economists say cannot last. Well, many economists are linking this uh, economic slowdown to what's happening in the European Union, and I have to agree. Uh, it looks as though uh, this is going to be a long-term effect unless uh, Europe can somehow uh, get their act together and pull themselves out of their economic downspin. But I, I speculate that uh, the European Union likely will not get uh, pull themselves out of this tailspin, uh, but will continue to fall, and that uh, I think eventually that it will cause a breakup in the European Union. Now that may be a long-term uh, view, but uh, I, I see that being the case. Obviously, I don't know the future, but if we are living in the last days, which I truly believe we are, there's something that's going to bring about the advent of the man of sin, and uh, this is something that I believe very well could be the catalyst that breaks up the European Union and uh, forms a new type of kingdom in which ten nations will uh, cause or will uh, bring into power a man who will uh, change uh, laws and times. And when he does so, I believe that he will bring about an economic uh, revival uh, to not only the European Union but also to the global uh, financial world. Uh, we'll see what happens, but this is my take on what is going on in Europe right now and, and how it is affecting what is going on throughout the rest of the financial world. And uh, I should make one mention, uh, we should not forget about the slowdown in China and India, which has been affected uh, by what is going on in the United States and the need for goods here in this country. It's caused a slowdown in their part of the, of, of the woods. And uh, again, it's a vicious circle in which uh, many countries are feeding upon others. And uh, we're, this just goes to show you how intertwined uh, we are as an economic community. Uh, 
I foresee this being a problem in the near future and uh, I think that it's going to take a near miracle to pull us out of this like I said economic downturn the question is, is are we living in the last days and are we about ready to see the advent of the Antichrist come on the scene well I think we are but uh, how long way that is is unknown uh, I do believe as I've said many times that the rapture of the church will take place first and when that does if uh, uh, you, you, you think this is a, a bad economic tailspin that we're going through just wait until fear grips the economic community uh, following the rapture of the church I think that you're gonna see a lot of uh, panic go on that uh, is going to take a miracle worker to come on the scene and bring the world out of this uh, horrible uh, financial mess that they've we've gotten ourselves into but you know what there's something that is much more telling and much more pressing to each individual than what the future holds and that is that everyone on this earth will one day have to give an account of themselves to God and the bottom line is if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior you will have to face God uh, on your own merit and the Bible says that no man can face God on their own merit but uh, it is only through Jesus that we can stand before God worthy to enter into the kingdom of heaven it's only through his sacrifice that this is made possible and if you haven't made that decision to follow the Lord uh, I would encourage you to do so as quickly as possible today is a day of salvation for tomorrow may be too late this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report